Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be five rose scents that I think you guys must try. And they are different interpretations of the rose and I wanted to put this video together for you guys. It's kind of like a prequel to my rose video um, that I'm working on that's almost done. I just have a little bit more research to do on it. Anyway, these are five fragrances that are rose dominant that kind of interpret rose in a different way that I think are really special and unique. So. Let's get into the video. Now with some of these uh, fragrances, I will have had previous reviews on them, so if I do, I will link them below in the comment section. Also, please excuse my gimp thumb. I tried to chop it off the other night. I apparently didn't succeed, sadly, for my ego at trying to cut my thumb off, but thankfully for my thumb, it's still attached. So, there we go. Now this video is inspired by the rose and I thought it would be fun to share with you guys five fragrances that have a beautiful interpretation of rose, be it a very predominant or how they kind of translate it into a very popular scent. And there's in no like order, so it's not like this is the best one over this one. Uh, they're just all unique and special. The first one I wanted to talk about is, this is no surprise, this is Rose de Araby from Armani Privé. This is like one of my top five favorite fragrances ever. It's a really beautiful kind of spicy, aromatic rose. It's unapologetically sexy, but it's also really easy to wear. If you like those really strong compositions where the rose is basically kind of battling it out with the other notes and the rose wins, this is a great um, wearable version of that and I really love it. A version that's a little bit spicier and maybe the rose doesn't quite win as much would be my number two which would be a flower bomb rose explosion. This is uh, from Victor and Wolf. This is a flank or two flower bomb. This is an unapologetically sexy fragrance and you see it on a lot of my lists where it's like a date night scent, a romantic scent, this is great. I mean, I pretty much regurgitate this scent. I think this one and Terracotta Le Parfum from Guerlain are like the two that you see on like every single list just because they're so spectacular. But this one, the rose, is not as in charge as this one, but it's still like the rose is in there. It's playing a part. It's really beautiful. And I just find this to be so sexy. So if you're looking for a very strong, powerful, sexy rose fragrance, but you're a little bit scared of rose a rose explosion is fantastic uh, but if you want the one where rose wins the battle uh, this one right here rose de araby now if you're looking for a more romantic kind of literal translation to a rose scent but not a literal literal translation rose de grasse from Erin is spectacular this is one of my favorite rose fragrances just in general it's a beautifully just crystal clear interpretation of like what i would feel like if a field of roses like early morning with dew on them smelled like this is just a very transportive and beautiful scent and i think it is really special if you love and i mean love rose fragrances and you just kind of love the romance that comes with them, definitely check out Rose de Grasse from Erin. Now these last two are a little bit less literal rose fragrances, but they have kind of more of a unisex, almost masculine feel to them. And that's something that I really enjoy. Uh, Kazimi from House of Matriarch, this is one of her cult like loved fragrances and for rose scents you see a lot of people making this they're one of their favorite rose scents of men and women this definitely feels like it has substance it feels like it has an unctuous mouth feel of rose on your skin and i know that's a weird way to describe it but it just smells so beautiful and it's a very masculine very strong very dominant rose scent but it doesn't lose the integrity of the beautiful floral note that is rose so i do love me some cassimi and then lamat from menda terosa is one where the interpretation of rose is completely different it's dry, it's got that straw kind of feeling to it. It's aromatic, it's light, but the rose in there is so beautiful and it works really well with all the other notes. This is probably one of the most beautiful scents I've ever smelled from an artistic interpretation of a fragrance, but also as a literal scent that you wear on your skin, it's really beautiful as well, which is why I think it's worth checking out. 
I could have made this list a lot longer, but I actually didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep this list short and sweet, so I do hope you like my picks. If there's anything from my collection that you're surprised is not part of this list, I would love to know what you guys think that fragrance is. is. Let me know in the comment section below. There are a few honorable mentions, but I'm not going to mention them here. Maybe I'll do a second video in the future. Any case, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!